Hello everyone. In this video, you are going to get acquainted with the spring bow compass. First, let's open up our tinker box and take out our compass. What you have in front of you is a sturdy spring bow compass. You don't have to remember that name, but that's what it's called. Everything is packaged nicely in this reusable clear carry pouch for easy carrying and storing. Some of you may have a baggie, but it acts as the same. Now let's familiarize you with the tool itself. What is the purpose of a compass? This tool helps us create perfect arcs and circles. Let's give it a go. So I'm going to create a point first. You always need a point. I'm going to take this needle and place it on the point. Now the compass is at a set width right now. So we, when we create a circle or an arc, it's always going to have a radius and the width between the needle and the lead is going to determine the length of the radius. So I'm just going to go with what I have already. And I'm just going to make sure I tighten these nuts here so that none of these, the needle nor the lead, will move around. Now, once you place the needle on the point that you created, it may take some adjustment getting used to how to handle the compass. Some students like to hold at the base here, so then they have a more sturdy grip on the compass. Some like to hold from the very top. Some like to actually move the compass around this way, or some students like to actually turn the paper while holding their um, grip still. So. It may take some adjustment. You find what is most comfortable for you. So I'm going to try just taking the lead and swiping it around. Now see my needle just moved a little bit, which I don't want that to do. So what I might do is just go ahead and try spinning my paper or let me go ahead and try. And if we do it perfectly, they should end up together once you have done a full circle. So that's what the compass is going to help us do. The width of the compass determines the radius of the circle. Now, if I keep this width the same, I'm just gonna be limited to drawing the same circle over and over again. So this is where it's nice that we have what's called an, a, an adjustment wheel right here in the middle. And it also has a, an automatic locking mechanism, so it's not going to go in and out um, like while you are drawing. So that's a nice feature on this particular compass. So I'm going to take this wheel and I can make the radius shorten or I can lengthen the radius. So for example, let's say I decide to go this route and the radius has gotten considerably shorter. So if I wanted to draw a circle within a circle, for example, this one might be a little bit challenging, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to swipe this around. See, all right, I just lost my needle here. So another thing you can do is hold the needle still and you can spin your paper, which most students like to do. Okay, so there is another circle with a much shorter radius, as you can see. Now you can create arcs too. So if I create a point here, then I can just you put my, place my needle right here and then just draw a swipe and make a shorter portion of the circle, which we call arc. So those are just a few examples of how you can use your compass. Now, just to troubleshoot, if for example, 
the lead needs to be longer or the needle needs to be shorter. Then you have these nuts here that you can turn to loosen or tighten so that you can adjust the length of the lead and the needle. Sometimes these might loosen over time, so you always just want to make sure it's tight so that you're not drawing and all of a sudden the lead falls out or the needle falls out. Now in your pouch, you do have some spares. You can see in here we've got some spare leads, so if for some reason your lead goes missing or it breaks, then you can um, loosen this nut and it will allow this pencil to come out and then you can put a new one in. You can also see there are some spare screws as well as nuts. So if something happens to these or the screw that's holding them in, then you have some spares. So hopefully that helps you get a little bit more acquainted with the compass. Happy compassing!